Shift our attention to breaking updates now coming in in the Kerala Me Too storm. Actor Siddiq's bail plea has now been dismissed. The Kerala High Court has dismissed the anticipatory bail application that has been filed by actor Siddiq. Now the complaint uh, pertains to the allegations that have been made by a female actor against the senior actor Siddiq. The complainant gave her complaint to the special investigation team that was constituted to investigate the incidents of sexual harassment in the Malayalam film industry. Now, actor Siddiq had said in his petition that the complainant, who is a member of the Women's Cinema Collective, is making these allegations because he conducted the press meet along with other office bearers of the Association of Malayalam Movie Actors after the release of Justice Hema Committee report. My colleague Jayalakshmi is joining us on the broadcast with the details. Jayalakshmi, uh, in the case, no relief, it looks like for actor Siddiq. Yes, in fact, uh, Siddiq bail plea has been uh, rejected by the Kerala High Court. And in fact, uh, what the High Court has said that is the, the complainant has been accusing Siddiq of... Uh, since uh, 2019, and in fact, uh, uh, they, they, uh, the High Court did uh, got, uh, get information regarding uh, how he had, you know, the complainant had said that how Siddiq had uh, gone, to, taken this complainant to a hotel, private hotel in Tiruvanthapuram in the name of offering her roles and audition, and then later he had also sexually abused her. So that is the complaint, and in fact, the complainant had uh, given a, a statement to the special investigation team as well, after which Siddiq moved to the High uh, and, uh, you know, High Court for anticipatory bail, which now has been rejected. What we know is that uh, the, uh, the special investigation team has been taking, uh, collecting evidences and has also uh, specifically visited this private hotel in Tiruvanthapuram and had gotten uh, enough information, in, uh, enough material to prove that this such a meeting had happened. And in fact, the name of the complainant and Siddiq was also recorded in the hotel books, the hotel registries, and after which they had concluded that such an incident has happened. Now, what Siddiq claims is that this is merely a case of revenge because he was the, uh, you know, uh, former president of AMMA Association. And uh, you know, uh, f former president of AMMA Association, and he has been uh, denying sexual harassment uh, cases altogether in the industry. After the release of HEMA committee report, he had given out a press conference saying that all of these cases, all of these uh, cases have not been reported yet, nor neither have come to life. So this is basically a, merely a revenge uh, statement that the complainant is doing, is what Siddiq had claimed and that was the, uh, that was, was stated in his uh, bail petition. But now what we see is that the High Court has rejected his bail petition because the SIT has provided a, a bit of uh, evidences that the, the incident did happen. They had visited, they had in fact booked a room also in this private hotel in Tiruvanthapuram. So uh, what is the uh, so the next hearing will be there and we, uh, we the SIT, what okay. they do next is uh, awaited. Okay, all right. Thank you for joining us with those details, Jalakshmi. On that note, we're slipping into a short break here. We'll be right back. Stay with us.